as Matthew McConaughey would actually say. <laughs> I'm going to jump right in to talk about Jeremy Renner a little bit. So Jeremy Renner, who we talked about before last week, maybe it was earlier this week, the days fly by so fast. Well, he's in the hospital and he's still recouping. And they're saying that he's actually doing better and better. And he's reading all, reaching all of his goals, which is great. But also in the news, his show, Mayor of Kingstown, is actually coming out on January 15th. That's right, January 15th, the debut of season two of his show. Now, when I heard about this, I was like, there was a season one, which apparently it was under the radar for me on Paramount+. Plus. But for everybody out there, his show is coming back if you're a fan. And here's a little bit about the series. So if you haven't watched it, you can kind of know what the show is about. The series follows the McCluskey family, power brokers in Kingston, Michigan, where the business of incarceration is the only thriving industry. Tackling themes of systemic racism, corruption, and inequality, the series provides a stark look at their attempt to bring order and justice to a town that has neither. I love that this is about somebody from Michigan. I'm from Michigan, so it's always fun to hear about shows that are set actually in Michigan. Jake's from Michigan. Uh, Detroit area, probably, I'm guessing, the whole product. But you never know how they're going to actually portray it, which I always think is interesting to see how they show Michigan and Michiganders because I think we're great people. Just saying, putting that out there, right, Jake? <laughs> uh, Sabrina, you hear about this program. What do you think? Do you think – have you heard of this, this show before? And if you haven't, does this perk your interest a little bit? I know I told you to watch the trailer. I told Jake to just check it out. Uh, are you interested in the show at all? Um, I mean, not overwhelmingly so. Um, I didn't, I, I never heard of it. I didn't know anything about it, um, but I did watch the trailer per your request. Um, and I mean, there's some actors in there that I like, and I mean, may, it could be good. It's just not, it doesn't, doesn't jump out as my genre of show. Um, honestly, I, I, I don't, I don't think I'll be, if I had nothing else to watch, I might check it out, but it's, it's not really on, on my list. Yeah, Jeremy Renner looks great in it. Like he's usually awesome in everything he does. He's just very committed to his pro or to his to his his acting style, I should say, and his craft. Uh, so I think it looks good. It looks gritty. It looks kind of fun. It's uh, of course a gritty drama. But when I first heard of it, I thought it was going to be that HBO show that uh, that had Kate Winslet in it for a second. I'm like, Mayor of what? But I think it's probably too close to that as a title. But Mayor of it's, Eastwick. It's, yeah, Eastwick. We got Mayor of Kingstown. What else we got on the agenda next? Who knows? But it wasn't Jake. Mayor. It was Mayor. Oh, I always thought it was Mayor. I don't know why. <laughs> no. you see, and you, I watched the show and I still thought it was Mayor, which is hilarious. Uh, Jake, you hear about this. What do you think? Have you heard of this show before? Have you watched this be show before? Do you know anything about it? And uh, what do you think about the trailer and, and the whole concept of it? Uh, I didn't know about this until you sent it to me, actually. Uh, so it's, but it's something I think I like stories like this as long as they're done tastefully and they don't turn into a political stunt, you know, just saying like, yeah. I understand there's a lot of problems in the incarcerated community, if you will. Um, and that whole thing, and it needs to be addressed and it needs to be fixed and shows like this. Sometimes they kind of give me a, a weird vibe, like, okay, so what's the, you know, what's the motivation for doing a story like this and turning it into a dramatizing something like it? So, yeah. And is it needed or not? Is it needed or not? Is it, is it, yeah, what's, what purpose is it serving? Um, is it just entertainment or is it actually trying to, I don't know. It's, it's one of those shows that I would have to watch before I make a judgment on it. The whole thing. Yeah. And it's, it's been on Paramount Plus, you know, getting the second season, so it must be doing well. Mm -hmm. And the fact that he's able to do this too, it's great. He's moving on kind of from Avengers stuff as we thought he would be too, because Hawkeye, they did the TV show. And at that point, it kind of seemed like he'd be stepping away and he's taking other projects. So it kind of means there's probably going to be less and less of Hawkeye and things. And again, we were talking about this. I talked to Jake about this briefly today. And we were saying, like, okay, well, this happened. Like, how does that affect production? Well, production's done, but if they want to do any kind of reshoots, I don't think that's happening right now because with Jeremy Renner in the hospital the way he is, mm -hmm. I, he's not going to be working anytime soon. It does not seem like it, at least. And, yeah, which is very to cut unfortunate. around what they have. That's it. Yeah, yeah. And, and we hope that he recovers. Like, honestly, he's been going through so much. The fact that he's been – I can't even imagine what he's gone, gone through. And the way that they talk about it is, like, he's just trying to help a friend out in real life, you know? And then this happens to him. 
And it's just unfortunate that he's in the hospital and recovering, but it sounds like he's doing much better. And hopefully the show does well and it gives him a smile on his face and helps him feel better. And, and hopefully his cast and crew are there supporting him too. I, I bet they are. And I just hope the best for him. So what do you think about it? Let us know. We got to move on. Just a little touch of mayor of Kingstown. Kingstown. <laughs>